fucking lips are getting a little chapped. The panty dropper. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Spaceship's coming. This is the hood of a car. Okay, Macarena. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Boom. That was nice. We're in jail. Come on. Burgess 2022, baby. Nice. Morning guys, we are about to head into Sturgis. I got a little surprise for you guys. We're gonna be working on this thing. Cool part about Sturgis, basically a lot of the manufacturers are out here and they're doing installs. I'm gonna go in, upgrade something on this CVO. I know, we all thought it wasn't upgradable, but as you saw, what I've done with the thrashing parts has made this bike way better to ride. And we're gonna do another thing to it. Let's go get it done. up to the Rockford Fosgate tent. We'll check out the front here in a second. Basically, they're gonna throw in a whole new stereo in this bike. So let's go talk to them, see what they plan on putting on it. They say it's gonna be louder and clearer at higher speeds. I kind of believe them. We're gonna have to put it to the test. So I'm here with John over at Rockford Fosgate. I don't even know exactly how much better this is than the stuff that's already in my bike. So I'm gonna have John tell us what he's throwing in and why it's better. Yeah, we're gonna throw in a pair of six and a half inch speakers up front. We're gonna replace the factory five by sevens in the rear bag lids. You're definitely gonna experience a lot higher highs. You can be able to hear it on the freeway. It's gonna bring you some smiles. Right. Yeah. So here would be like the front speakers. These would be the rear speakers that we're gonna replace in the bag lids. So one of our new amplifiers on it as well. 800 watt. 800 watts, four speakers, yes. four tweeters, yep. four mid drivers. Yep. So he's gonna need my bike for like three to four hours. Yep. So we're gonna go walk around town while he gets it done. I can't wait for you to hear it too. Dude, I've been drinking all morning. Fucking lips are getting a little chapped from riding with no helmet oh. and maybe being dehydrated, I don't know. Bro, you almost got hit by that dude. So we're gonna head over to the official Harley Davidson store. It's always a tradition. It's a must to grab a Harley shirt from the year Sturgis you came. I've got one from every year I've been. We're gonna run in there, see what they got this year. Maybe some stuff for the kids. First of all, fire. This one right here looks sick. Boom. That one's pretty sick. One dog, this is you. The tie-dye sleeves, bro. Tie-dye back, just like I brought chrome and black back. Oh, God. Watch it yeah, all the time. <laughs> Brandon. Brandon. I'm Lance. Lance, nice to meet you. Where'd you uh, ride from? Iowa. 6.50. Oh, light. It's like a day, day and Nothing half. compared to what you guys are doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, thanks time. for saying hi. Yeah, So you ran into you. Good to meet you guys. Oh, yeah. I found one that my boy Juan would love. He's going to love this. XR 750. Grab him one. Watch when he sees this thing. You like it? Oh, dude. That's sick. XR 750. Sick. Not sure what size you want, but there you go. We had to get some stuff for the kids. 82nd rally shirt. Brad one for the kids. I don't even know, a rat? What is that thing? Wolf, yeah, wolf. Rawr, rawr, rawr. This one's like a proper wolf for my daughter, for my son. Sick eagle. Same one that I got for the kids, but for me. Last but not least, bam. 
Your time, you didn't get Court anything? To be honest with you, Court likes wearing my shirts, so. Okay. She'll like pick through my drawers and fucking steal my shirts. We have a big team of people back at the shop. You know, they don't always get to come with us on these rides because the shop's got to keep moving, which is unfortunate. You know, of course everyone wants to come, but so basically there's a ton of stuff. The phones are going off the hook, products getting delivered. Thank you guys for your orders. We appreciate it and know that there's a team of people back at the office that aren't having as much fun as us and they're working their asses off to keep this stuff going. Thank you. Flat track bike. What's up, man? Fuck yeah, dude. My pops. I always get him a rally shirt. Hats are on this one. I get one for my chick. Make nice. sure she represents because she rides in the back of the Harleys. What are we doing? We're going to grab some food or what? I don't know. What time is it? He wears a watch and the fucking thing, it the doesn't battery, even work. The battery died. Fool puts his watch on every day and the fucking thing doesn't work. The panty dropper. So they have this staircase. I'm pretty sure they charge you to go up there and take a photo. But we're gonna go give it a shot. Oh, five dollar donation. All right, well, let's donate. It's your way to heaven, bro. The pain, we will see you at and have that. Of that wheel is, bro. Look at the little mini discs. Next here, we're riding here in those motor boat headers. Some boat exhaust, little handlebars in there, up to a little front wheel. How's the oily speaker behind the headers? How does that survive under that? It's like. I don't want to own it, but I'd sure love to rip it once. Do not touch. It's insane, dude. That's freaking insane. Look yeah. at it. You know how much this thing gets in mileage. Look at those two poor girls right there. Puppy ain't. I bet it don't get six. <laughs> I'd like to ask the guy how much you get, because it's really in. It's in a light frame. Yeah. He's not really pushing no weight, but I know that sucker's got to be sucking fuel. How's that? What's up, bro? Why you got to focus on that? See? Pistol handle. And... Said it's the Let's Go Brandon edition. I'm not going here for another 360 days. Yeah, this place is off limits for the rest of the year. Spaceship's coming. We got the spaceship going by. Yeah, baby. It's like we got an early year road glide fairing and that looks like a FLH road glide front end. Looks like we got a road glide seat. Now this is over a road glide frame, but then we kind of get into some custom stuff. Homemade footboard. See some plastic ones. And it looks like we got something off of a forklift with some shit handles. And this is where we get to the Toyota Corolla set of wheels and disc brakes on the rear end with this fiberglass bodywork. Some cans of oil, nice birch wood, key exit exhaust, very good exhaust flow. Then it exits out the side muffs through a set of old Harley mufflers. There's some interesting taillights. I'm not even sure if they work. I'm not even sure how this thing's powered. Oh my God, this is the hood of a car. The shit you see in Sturgis. Would you ride that home for $1,000? I would not ride that home for any really money like that. Clean FLH, dustable bagger brake arm, thrashing boards, P54s, thrashing risers, thrashing bars, thrashing handlebar bag. Link Easy shift, derby cover. Things styled, dude. It's always rewarding to walk around, see guys running our parts. P54s on it, militants, points cover. Bike's got apex boards on it. Juan needs your help. On his black and chrome bike, should he do the chrome crash bar? or the black crash bar. Write in the comments, help one make a choice. So I got my man Rich Hagen staring into this thing. Here's the stock speakers. This is the speakers that are going in. Better sound, more output. So it's just a better performing speaker. You're gonna get a lot more output, a lot more volume. Can't wait. What do you think about this thing, bro? aerodynamics on that thing right now. <laughs> hey, Macarena. What a great day, man, but we're hungry. You think it's a bad thing that we hang out with the young guys and ride like we do and party like we do? These young guys got to pick it up from somebody. <laughs> That's the man right there. <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? I'm Lance. Great parts, man. I appreciate it, dude. I watch your guys' vlogs and I watch theirs too, so. All right, oh, man. Yeah. Thanks Absolutely. for the support, man. Just found this restaurant, Loud American Restaurant, something like that. It's got the Jack Daniels logo up front. Chicken, yep. Boom. Look at that, boys. Water, chicken salad. It's trying to come back to life. Here you go. Taking your shirt off again. What's up, bro? You can't flex those BB guns. Take your shirt off, bubble boy. A decent coffee shop is the one over there. There's no Starbucks here? I can't take this kid anywhere. Clean orange.
orange FXR with the Thrashin OG Pine P54s, Escape Saddlebags, 9.5 pullback risers, Thrashin mid bend bars, clean FXR. Americano connoisseur. Are you gonna drink? Look at that thing, it's fucking the size of my head, bro. Bomb. Nice mocha, something that tastes bomb and gives you energy. This will always with a little milkshake top. No, you need some flavor in your life, homie. We love you all. Sturgis liquor. Basically, this is the only water bottles in the whole store we could find, and that's what we're drinking today. Yeah. The stuff you don't see in the other videos. Hydrating, drinking water. We updated the OEM Harley system to the rocker system, which consists of uh, we replaced the front speakers, back lid drivers, and added a new amplifier. We use our TMS 404 amplifier in the front, paired with a couple of TMS 6S and a TMS 57. Element ready, which means they'll withstand ultraviolet and waterproof. It's too bad you guys can't actually hear how much louder this is than it was. It's insane. I can't wait to go take it for a ride. We're gonna get on the road and enjoy this thing. There's like 40 feet of parking I area. I was just giving you some room, bro. And you almost crashed into homie's bike. We're about to go hit Spearfish Canyon. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Boom. Come on. Go. Let's go. Gas fill up. This 40 is gonna need a couple tank fills just for a little ride, huh?
a ride through Spearfish Canyon. Actually, that's my first time hitting that. The river and badass ride. The first time we've done it yesterday with Harley and then now it's a must ride for sure. sure. And we are back at the infamous Boar's Nest. Gentlemen, can I buy you around the beers? Yeah, why not? Awesome. Absolutely. Okay. I've been clean all day. Let's do it. Okay. Can't get away from it. Look at that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. We appreciate it. Enjoy. I love your content. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I was trying to move the dirt out of the way. Now you just like... wrecked your seat, bro. <laughs> hey. What's up? Man? All right, guys. So the sun's starting to drop below the mountain. We're going to head back into Deadwood and find some place to eat. You're dead! <laughs> Chose a place that's closed. They close at three. We're not gonna have dinner here. This is our holding position while Galen and my pops figure out where we're eating. Places they looked up over off Main Street are a zoo. We're gonna head into Jacob's Brew House and see if we can get a spot. I got the buzzer. So there's a 30 minute wait at the restaurant. We're not too far from it. We're gonna park our bikes, walk back down into town and see where the night ends up. Payback, payback. Oh, that's over on it. Cheers. Got two salmon. Thank you. Sausage boy. Shrimp boy. I don't know if this is something healthy, you know? Holy shit. I don't know. After a long day of riding, it's like our first dessert on the road. I want you guys all the time. I love you. Man. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Where'd you ride from? West Virginia. 1100 and some odd. Hell yeah, brother. I found my new helmet. Juan and I see this sign on the window, which I can't even film right now. It says model trains downstairs. Now we're on Deadwood Main Street. I'm like, fuck it, let's go downstairs and see what the model trains are. So we walk in, it's kind of like quiet. Like it looks like, so I look and there's a sign right here. It says model trains. And so we go down and there's sick model trains down there. Well, we come back up and every door is deadbolted. And now we are stuck locked inside of this building. Hey, we're straight locked in here. We came in to look at the model trains and then the door was open and now it's locked. Dude, this was open, wide open. And we saw the model train thing, the lights were on. So it seems like we're getting in more trouble when we're staying sober. You cook. They really There's gotta be police on the street. Yeah. Just go find a cop on the street. We're in jail. Got you covered. No, so check it out. The door was wide open. We see the trains downstairs sign. You see it on the window? The Deadwood PD is now trying to help us get out of here. There's sick model trains downstairs. Every year. <laughs> hey, you're playing a trick on us. Not the first time. Oh my God. Dude, look at how big this thing is. Put a dollar in there and it started working. It's all fucking real. Okay. Yeah! She came up and said this happens every year. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Day eight on our Sturgis tour is in the books. Thanks for checking this out. We will see you guys tomorrow. Oh boy. Oh, he's in the front seat, dude.